Okay, so welcome back. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to look at how we can read a CSV file into a parallel array. Okay, so remember parallel arrays are arrays where the first element and the second element and all the elements are in some way related to each other. Okay, so let's have we look at how we do that just now. Okay, so here we go. So we've got this program here, which is one that we did last time. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to go for parallel arrays. So let's just go ahead and strip out the stuff we don't need. I don't need data classes because we're not going to do it off records. I'm going to come down here and uh, don't need high scores. We can lose that. Well, let's reuse part of it. Let's go call it name. So name equals... And it's just going to be blank okay and we're gonna need one for score score equals okay and we're not gonna read it so we're gonna to have to pass in the name and the score and we're gonna to have to get out name and the score I'm just going to put in print name and score here as well. Right, so you can see both on this plate. So, parallel arrays, both, both of the arrays are related to each other. So we go up to the top here. So first thing I'm going to do is to pass in the right information. All right. And but everything else is going to stay pretty much the same. All right. So we've got the CSV open. We've got the for loop, we've got the reading of the A and the B, and remember we looked at this last, last time, how we could put all this in at one bit. And now what's going to change is how we do and how we store the information. So we're just going to go for name, index, because it is an array, equals A, and score, index, equals B. All right, so we're reading that information in and we're going to return back out the name and the score. So now when we run it, we should get this information displayed. And I'll display it down here. You'll see we've got the array of names and the array of scores. And if we want to display those side by side with each other, then it's dead easy. We're just going to do it for x in range 4 and we just simply do print name uh, x comma score x and when we run it we should now get a list of the four names with the four scores okay now obviously it's up to the designer of the program which one you want to use. I'm personally a big fan of an array of records. It's a more efficient solution. There's less chance of accidentally putting things out of step with each other and causing skew uh, in the information. You know, the fact that zero relates to each other here, well, that's fine, but surely with the correct data structure, a record, we could have that so that it's just a new one. So I personally prefer to store things in an array of records. Um, I know that some people tend to like the parallel arrays, especially there's only a couple. It saves all the jumping through hoops that an array of records has. Uh, but I would use them all the time. Anyway, there you go. That's the video for today. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.